Hello everybody and welcome to your Mansfield's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Um, I would like you to remember though that this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so please do take whatever resonates with you and just leave the rest of it aside. Okay if ever it doesn't feel right it just doesn't doesn't resonate doesn't correlate with you then just leave it there. It's okay it's a general reading so it does happen. If however you would like to have your own personal reading you can contact me for information at romancefultarot at gmail.com and you will find all of that information right below into the description box. On another note if you do enjoy the channel and you have not yet subscribed please do take a brief moment of your time to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it would be greatly appreciated. So with no further ado, we're going to uh, begin this reading. I would like to mention that this reading is dedicated to the sign of Taurus. It's a very important reading. They're all important, okay, but some of them are more imp important at certain times of our lives. So I'm guessing if you did click on it, then maybe this is something that you need to hear right now. So this is why you're here. Nothing happens for a coincidence. If you've clicked, that's because you're meant to be here and to listen to this message. So this message is for you. It is channeled messages that are coming from your guardian angel. Okay, so let's go and see what kind of messages your guardian angel has for you. Once again, sign of Taurus. We're going to begin with the tarot cards down here. Okay, so I have the Nine of Pentacles, I have the Hierophant, and I also have the Ace of Cups. So let's begin over here with the, um, let's begin with the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles over here is going to be our first one, and I'm going to move the card all the way up over here so we can know that this is the message that we're bringing by right now. So the Nine of Pentacles here, it asks us to, to question. You need to question your relationships, okay? You need to question the relationships to the lavish and luxurious aspects of our lives. Now, achieving a high level of success often brings higher expectations. Increased levels of self-discipline are needed in order to maintain an appropriate balance. Now, high expectations based on strict social standards can feel somewhat demanding. Now, perhaps it's time for you right now to simply lighten your load. If you're truly enjoying living in elegance, you can continue to do so. If you're feeling constricted, however, remember that you can always give yourself a little bit more freedom. So let your hair down and stop worrying about what the neighbors will think. Very important message there. Are you comfortable with the way that you are right now? If you're not feeling comfortable, you need to change it. And this is all about only caring, not only caring, but not caring about what the other people think of you also. So this is all about your interior and not your exterior. The Hierophant, you're searching for some advice over here with the Hierophant, very wise. The Hierophant is committed to self-improvement and this is what we're working on through furthering, you know, your education. It's about private meditation. It's a devotion to, to a certain group. It's being respectful of traditions. And it's really about typically honoring the old ways of doing things. Now, the Hierophant here is depicted, and this is, uh, is depicted as being, um, very, very wise, okay? They, they, this is why they have two, uh, the raven here, it has two heads, okay? Incredibly wise, a very mystical bird. Now, the two heads, I need to say, they symbolize the facets of the mind, which are part of the greater whole altogether. So, this is all about closed mind thinking, okay? You hold the keys to, to your life, okay? You hold them, you know what to do with them, you need to stand tall, you need to stand proud, and you need to um, you need to make justice to that. Okay, uh, the um, you need to stand proud. The beetle here represents the movement of the sun, the passing of the days. So your growth, your development, your metamorphosis, which you can achieve through higher learning of your self development. So this is all about embracing your learning, becoming rigorous in your studies and consistent in your practices. You need to spread your wings and grow, okay? But you need to do this for yourself, not for anybody else. You need to do it for yourself. This is what the most important part of this, of the messages that I'm getting are for you. 
with the Ace of Cups, we're talking about new beginnings here. We're talking about a flow of emotions. Now, the Ace of Cups comes as an omen. It's an exciting, it's a new beginning. It offers a potential for pure love and happiness in your life. Now, if you open yourselves to the possibility, though, if you're closed, it's not going to arrive. You need to be open to the possibility. Now, you need to open your heart to positive changes. Do not refuse yourself the right to be happy and to be loved. An invitation to a place of pure contentment, of deep emotional connection, and boundless love is being offered to you. Do not brush pass it okay these are beautiful messages that your guardian angel have for you today um let's go see what the angel answers have to say they're talking about meditation brings answers so yes if you can find that time a little bit of a time may it be and it doesn't matter you don't have to be sitting down in a yoga position you don't have to take some time to be by yourself wherever it is that you're comfortable and try and find those answers to you even if it's just five minutes a day by yourself you're going to have that peace you're going to have that relaxing moment that just lets you breathe fully and to maybe find some type of, um, some answers maybe, or maybe, you know what, nothing. And that is just fantastic in itself, okay? Um, we're going to move over now to the following card here, which is all about awakening. This is what I want you to do because we want you to meditate. We want you to, um, we want you to be open for the new possibilities that are coming ahead. We want you to do things for yourself. Now, the awakening here, you need to awaken, okay? You need to awaken from your slumber. Once, um, what once appealed to you does not anymore. Uh, friends are not quite on, you know, the same wavelength and what you have once um, motivated, you no, no longer does, okay? So what has happened? Why do you not feel the same? Well, you are experiencing a great shift in your personal energy right now. And what you have once found attractive is just no longer appealing. This has caused you some con concern because you feel that you're letting other people down if you lack the same enthusiasm. Now, others are often scared of change, especially when a friend becomes indifferent. Now, your guardian angels are here to assure you that what you are feeling is entirely natural. Your wishes and your desires to spiritually evolve and or to live as your authentic self has brought about these changes. And as you connect with your angels and your guides, practice meditation, pray and live your truth. Your vibrational frequency raises to match that which you now seek. Your disinterest in certain situations, your behaviors, your people, your material items is because they no longer match this elevated energy. You are going to begin to notice synchronicities, such as a chance meetings with mm, like-minded people. Don't be afraid of letting anyone down or for being ridiculed for being who you really are. No doorways will open and what no longer serves you is going to fall away simply naturally. This is an auspicious time for you are becoming truly alive to who you came here to be. What beautiful messages from your, your angels. Um, universe has got your back. Um, obstacles and detours, okay, in the right directions. So obstacles are detours in the right directions and I do whatever it takes to get closer to my consciousness, okay? We're all correlating here. This is a beautiful message. I hope that you're going to apply it. I do wish you a fantastic day. Many blessings. If you would like to have your own personal reading, romancefultarot at gmail.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Have yourself a blessed day. Thank you for being there and I'll see you soon.